What is up guys, Sophia here back with another topic. If you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated on all of my videos. And also don't forget to like and share the video if you know you want to and don't forget to check the description box because I always put a lot of stuff in there, specifically my book for single women. So what we're gonna be talking about today is we are going to do an interesting case study on women and dating to see if you are making some of these mistakes because I have done plenty of videos where I have mentioned some of these mistakes that women seem to make on dates and they cannot figure why the man is not feeling them. They can't seem to figure out why they are not getting a second date, but it is not enough for me to talk about it. Sometimes we just have to see in real life exactly what some of these issues are. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to play the clip and I'm going to allow you to guess the mistake that she is making and then I'm going to explain. So first, here is the clip. So first things first, the issue here is the way that she's dressed. She is a very beautiful woman and I think a lot of women tend to mistake wanting to look nice for looking overtly sexual, right? It is very important for you not to have body parts hanging out in his face. And I actually did a video on this um, when, and I'll leave it down in the description box, when a woman went to meet his parents and literally she had everything hanging out. First of all, I think that a lot of women, women feel like, oh, I wanna go on the date and I wanna look nice and that is completely fine. But you can do that without letting everything hang out because this is sending the wrong type of perception. Feel how you want to feel about it, but when people meet you and men in general, especially on the first date, they are going to size you up to determine what type of woman are you. So you don't want to like have your boobs hanging out. You want to dress appropriate for your body type. You don't want to have your butt hanging out. And even I'll go on the opposite end of that is that you don't want to be too matronly and dress like somebody's grandma. And you also don't, want to um, dress in a way that is too laid back or casual or look like you have not put effort in your appearance. For this one here, she just dressed overtly too sexual. And as you can see, her boobs are kind of like in his face, <laughs> like literally they're just there. And so if you want a man to take you seriously, be mindful in what you wear and, and err on the side of, I want to look nice, but I don't want to look overly sexual. And you can actually check the description box because I have my free ebook um, of my Christian capsule wardrobe where I teach you how to make outfits for all occasions, but specifically appropriate outfits for dates. So check the description box on that. Just think about if, um, you know, oh, would you wear it to church? If you would not wear this outfit to church and you feel like you would be too exposed, then it is probably not a good idea to wear on the date. So now let's go ahead and get right on into the second clip. But who brings a table and a chair to a picnic? This is a complete waste of time. Like. If I had the time to burn, I would be all right with it. But I didn't even have the time to even waste getting out of my bed coming. And I feel how I feel and it's not going to change. So what the second clip shows, and I have a video down on this as well, is when women are too kind of abrasive and too aggressive. And I will link that video down in the description box. But when I spoke about being too aggressive or too abrasive, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This could be very passive aggressive behavior because if you read people's body language, you could tell if they are open and receptive to wanting to talk to a man or getting to know them. And you could just tell if they are completely closed off. Another thing that you don't want to do is to just complain um, because at the end of the day, a lot of women want to go out on dates and a lot of men are not willing to take women out on dates nowadays. But if a man really puts effort in attempting to take you out on a date, the last thing that you want to do is look ungrateful, look like you don't want to be there, complain or visually or verbally say that you don't want to be there. If you're going to do all of that, you might as well just either not go on the date and reschedule, but you don't want to show up to a date with an attitude and somebody's really trying to genuinely get to know you and you're all angry and guarded and passive aggressive and all of this and he don't even know know why that is not playing hard to get it's just a very unattractive trait to have so let's get into the third clip i didn't want you to get eaten up by ants so i set up this table and chairs okay i have some meat cheese macaroni chicken strawberries and cake would you like any i'm good i ate before i came all right um 
So the third tip is basically being very ungrateful. Now, this is one that I think women tend to do and they don't even realize it because at the end of the day, as you can see, it took a lot of effort for him to kind of plan this. It's not like it was just an easy date. And actually, you should just be thankful. Even if it's not ideal or it's not your ideal food or whatever the case may be, it's like don't come across that you just don't want to appreciate somebody's efforts. Whenever a man wants to date you or go out with you and he goes out of his way for you, the polite thing to do is to just say thank you and that's it. I also spoke about being very stringent on and I believe I'll post a video I'll post every video that I mentioned even if I can't remember the titles down in the description box but being very stringent in the sense that and I spoke about this oh I don't want to do this I don't want to try this I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to and it's like okay but this is a very unattractive trait to have because as you can see he was very open and receptive in attempting to get to know her and basically she was just kind of like oh you set this whole dinner thing up I don't want it I don't care I ate before I came you could have tried some macaroni and cheese or whatever the case may be even if you didn't eat it all you could at least show some type of politeness and appreciation for the fact that this man set this nice date up for you so let's go ahead and get into the next clip so tell me a little about yourself uh like what you would like to know you know there's not too much to tell do you like to go to the movies or anything i hate the movies what about outdoors? You like to fish? No, baby, I'm burning up. Like, as you can see, I'm a plus size woman. The last place I pick is outside. The next clip is also something that I had spoke about and this is something that I have noticed very commonly in women and even some of my female friends and I think they feel like oh well, if I don't like it then I could just tell them that but once again it is very rude. Nobody is trying to force you to do something that you don't necessarily want to do but at the end of the day it's like okay nobody wants to try to pull teeth to get to know you. Nobody it's not like oh he needs to break down my barriers and my walls in order to find out what I'm really about. Nobody wants to do all of that. And then even trying to find out what she likes, it's like, oh, what do you want? No, I don't like anything. It's like you automatically have an attitude and you're guarded against a man who actually have not done anything to you. And I have a video on that as well and I'll link it down where women, and I showed another case example where women tend to do that. And then you start to feel like, oh, well, it's the man's fault because he didn't try to get to know me hard enough. He completely tried to get to know you, but you're just very shut down talking about what you don't like, what you don't want to do. And then when he is trying to get to know you and find out what you do like and what you do want to do you're not actually having a conversation with him but instead you're just kind of sitting there and expect him to just carry the conversation in order to pry open your heart to try to get to know what you're about and don't nobody have time for that okay all right let's get into the next clip because you know i just got out of a long relationship i just was recently engaged so all this is a lot i'm not trying to get married today tomorrow but I just want to get to know you and go from there. Okay, so these are two points that I actually want to bring in this clip. The first, don't talk about an ex. Don't talk about an ex-boyfriend. Don't talk about an ex-fiance. Nobody wants to hear about a man who dumped you. That is not the purpose of a date. If you feel that you cannot go on a date without bringing up your past relationship baggage and drama, then perhaps you just don't need to date until you get into a place where you are over your ex so that when you do go on a date, you know, you're not bringing that person up. Because imagine if the roles was reversed and he just sat on the date and talked about his ex-fiance and his ex-girlfriend how would you feel and another thing and and I felt like what he said was just so valuable I think that men see dates a lot better sometimes than women did because what he specifically said was like look you know I'm not trying to get married I'm not trying to do any of this I'm just trying to date and this is what women need to get to understand that when a man is trying to date you stop attaching outcomes to what you want to happen on a date this man did not ask for him to be for her to be his girlfriend he did not ask for her hand in marriage. He don't even know if he wants to see her past this day, which he probably might not want to see her past this day because it's not going well. And so with women, this can even go both ways. Don't try to make him your husband. Don't try to have on rose colored glasses and start talk, talking about children and marriage and walking down the aisle and stop and just be in the moment and just enjoy the date and try to get the, and try to get to know this individual. Because the fact of the matter is, is when you are dating, whether it's a first date, a second date, you really don't 
don't know that person. And that this is specifically what the dating phase is for to get to know that person. But if you are putting on your past trauma, your past baggage, your past exes, and thinking like, oh, well, I don't know if I'm ready to date or get in a relationship or marry or whatever. It's like you're attaching a lot of outcomes when you just met this person five minutes ago. And that is what kind of turns men off from a lot of women because they may be trying to get to know you, but you're just sending all these red flags with all of this trauma and negativity and, you know, taking things too fast and too far. And all they did was ask you out on one date. So let's get into the next clip. Let me see. Um, so what's sexy to you? What's sexy to me? Yeah. <laughs> the smile, the attitude, all that. Oh goodness. Okay. And so with this one, I cannot understand for the life of me why women do this. If you want a man to see you as sex, then she is doing a great job. First of all, by the way that she's kind of dressed too overtly sexual. And also the first thing that you're going to say is what do you find sexy? There is several problems with this and mainly a lot of women lack the ability to have a normal conversation and they feel like on dates when I have a normal conversation with somebody I need to bring up something physical or sexual in order to capture their attention and if you kind of study his body language you kind of see that even he's thrown off by it because once again he done asked her about herself what does she like and the only thing that she can come back with oh well what do you find sexy and no she did not say I want to have sex with you right up front but when you start to put that on front street then that's naturally where the conversation is going to go I felt like he did divert it back to something PG like oh I like a smile and those type of things but if the cameras were not on or if he was another man this probably went probably would have went to oh I like the boobs hanging out of your shirt and then this would have turned to a very sexual conversation and then you would either end up in a one night stand or or, you know, you would end up in a situation of a hookup type of situation and you're like, okay, well, why doesn't he like me? Or why doesn't he want to make me his girlfriend? Or why doesn't he want to date me more seriously? Or why does he just want to try to get me to come over to his house? It's because of the perception that you have put out um, as far as, oh, I, I can't have a conversation because he tried to have a conversation with me and I basically got an attitude. Um, I'm dressed very provocatively. And now the only thing that I can come up with to talk to him about is what do you think is sexy? So of course he is going to categorize you as a woman for either just a hookup or some non-long-term potential, even if that's not the case, because that is the perception that you put out. Women need to learn the art of a normal behind conversation. You have conversations with your friends and your family and your coworkers, whatever the case may be every day. I don't know why you would not say this to them, like my coworkers, what you think is sexy, or you would not say this to other people. So I am not sure why women feel the need to just get into this overtly sexual or strongly coming on to a man, or they don't know how to actually have a conversation with a man, you know what I mean, um, on a date, and then they wonder why the man doesn't want to see them anymore, the date has went bad, or a man just sees them as um, a fling, and that's it. It's because throughout this first date, she has not set herself up to to be long-term potential, not in his eyes. And as you can tell, this is not the way that you want to go on a date. I feel like if there were red flags that a woman does on a date to run the date into the ground, she probably did all of them. And a lot of women think, oh, it has to be something overt. We didn't get in an argument or anything, but, and he was nice. It's like, yeah, he's being polite because he doesn't want the date to go bad. But as you can see, the date did not go well. And a lot of that was because of her attitude towards him, right? Okay, guys, so I definitely hope that you enjoyed that. And I would love to know what dating mistakes that you may have made. Don't forget to leave them down in the comment section. And I will talk to you guys another day, another time. Bye, y'all. Not ready for the show to end? It doesn't have to. You can head over to my site where you can read hundreds of articles. And also, you can feel free to shop my store where I have all of my products for sale. And last but not least, for even more video content, feel free to visit my YouTube channel where I talk about a wide array of content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next time, stay blessed.